This is the Akai GX4000D reel-to-reel -reel tip recorder. I picked this one up at a thrift store for about 10 euro. It came together with the um, DS MK1, 4000 DS MK1, which I don't have anymore because it ran really bad for 15 euro. So I paid around 5 euro for that one and 10 for this one because this one is much nicer. As you can see, there's the DSMK2 in combination with this recorder. Those are the only re tape recorders I still have now. This is a very nice recorder with glass and Xtel ferrite heads. GX focused field. Move this cassette box out of the way. Let's take a look at the features. Here we have the power button, pause control, and the start button. The same. This is all some sort of the same features as the DS uh, models have. Here we have the control for fast forward and rewind. This one does play. And with the help of the rec button and my second hand, which is holding a camera, it also does record. Here we have the tape in sensor, the pitch roller, and here's the capstan. Of course, with the same removable sleeve to change the tape speed. It's the head cover. For some strange reason they put the uh, storage post for the capstan sleeve right there, underneath the head cover. These are the heads. If you take a look at the heads on the bottom, it's the glass head, really interesting. It doesn't wear out as fast as the uh, ceramic heads on the 4000 DS models, at least that's what Akai says. Maybe it's just marketing blah blah, but I don't know. Here's the tape guide. This is very nicely made, a track selector, 1 or 4 mono, stereo or 3 2 mono. Here's a tape counter and a reset button, output control and a headphone jack, very nice view meters and they light up beautifully. The record light is right there and it's an LED switches. We have to switch for monitor, the tape or the source, the sound on sound switch, the equalizer switch, and the tape selector for low noise or wide range. Here we have the input controls. This one is for line. This is the right channel. This is the left channel. And this is for the microphone input, which are right here. Or the DIN jack. We have the right channel and the left channel. Let's take a look on the back of the recorder. And as you can see right there, it has a wooden back. Down there is the connections. Really hard to film this. Down there is the connections. Line in, line out and thin. And the power plug is right there and it's removable. This tape recorder is hooked up to my homemade amplifier and these small speakers. I hope I can thread the tape one handed. It will probably be pretty hard, but I'll give it a try. No, I can't do this. I'm gonna put down the camera. And there we go. Start with fast forward. Next we have rewind.
pause and play. Uh, one thing I want to show you. There's the record light. Turn the type monitor on and the speakers. So monitor switch on tape. Output control, full open. This song was recorded off a cassette on this reel to reel using my Kenwood cassette deck. Turn that on as well.
So there you have it, the Akai GX4000D, reel-to-reel tape recorder. I hope you enjoyed this video.